People in Yankton County getting their first look at damage today as the James River slowly begins to lower after reaching historic levels Sunday. Yankton County Emergency Management warning nearly 50 homeowners along the river about the rising water. KCAU 9 reporter Marina Bach joins us live in Yankton along Highway 81 where cleanup is still underway. She has tonight's top story. Bridget, as you can see right behind me, there's still some debris left on the roadway as well as water still flowing over the bridge. But surrounding that bridge is also farmland, and much of this farmland is once again underwater this year. And it's just weeks before farmers were hoping to get out and get their harvest season going. Out here, there's over 200 acres of farm ground that is all underwater now. Dennis Clemish is a fifth-generation farmer in Yankton County. We, had, we have this flooding now, and that's... A detriment that's not helping anything. This is the third time this year he has had to battle wet fields at his farm near the James River. Delayed planning this year because it was so wet. We didn't get everything in. We didn't, we, we got about a, a third of the stuff in that we normally would get in just because it was so wet. As the waters rose to historic levels, the family's barn also began to go underwater. We had buildings that, in, that were in five, six feet of water that have never in my lifetime or my, my uh, folks' lifetime never been in water. Inside were a year's supply of clay pallets for their hunting and sporting clay business, also run on the farm. We had no idea, we had no advance warning that this much water was coming down, and it, uh, it's been very devastating to our business here and our farming, and it, uh, I hope we can make it through it okay. As the water begins to recede, the family is staying positive that they will overcome the devastating losses. We need, we need some nice, bright, sunshiny days and dry things out. Send the water away. We don't want any more for a while. I spoke with Yankton County Emergency Management earlier this afternoon. They are asking anyone that received any damage from this flooding to dial 211. They are hoping through this that they will come out and do those inspections on your homes that did have those damages. And then they're hoping through this they're able to gain financial aid through the, wet, through the Red Cross as well as get a federal declaration. Reporting live in Yankton, Marina Bach, KCAU 9 News.